Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. This is Property Management 101, and today I'll be reviewing with you when to sign that management agreement. In this video, I'll be reviewing with you three things that you're gonna to wanna to complete before you agree to sign any agreement with any owner. One of the first things you're going to want to do before you want to consider moving forward with a management agreement is meet with the owners or the investors. This is going to be really important to ensure a couple things are in line of what you expect. Number one, that you believe you're going to have a good working relationship with them, that their strategy is in line with your company's policies and practices. Also, you want to make sure you find some information out about the property that they're asking you to manage. For example, where is it at? What is their long-term strategy? What is their short-term strategy? What is their expectation? What is the condition currently in of the asset? So these are some of the things that hopefully that early on you're pulling out from the owner or the investment group. And a meeting with the owner is a great way to do this. The second thing you want to complete before you sign a management agreement is you want to perform on your own some property research. You want to make sure that you look up information as far as ownership and tax information of the property. You want to make sure it's in good standing and the owner that you're meeting with is the actual name on the account of who actually owns the property. You want to make sure that the expected rent from that ownership group is also the rent you think you'll be able to achieve in that area. And these are some of the things you really want to make sure when you do your own property research that still meets in line with the expectation of the ownership and in line with your company's practices and policies. I hope you're enjoying this video and learning something new. If so, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications for future videos. And the last thing that you want to do before you agree to sign any management agreement with any ownership is you want to make sure you walk the property. I've actually had some personal experiences where everything checked out from working with an owner where everything was in line as far as the rent, what everything was in line with the expectations. This was, you know, an owner that we had, you know, very um, high hopes as far as working with, with other investment properties they had as well. But once we got to the property, we saw that that owner was giving us the property way below the standards we were willing to manage on their behalf. So it was unfortunately a situation where we had to not move forward as far as managing that asset for them. And this is why this step is so important in this part of the process. You wanna make sure that you go to the property, everything is in working functioning order. You wanna make sure that they're not violating any tenant landlord laws, everything is up to code. All the keys and remotes they're giving you are working in good working order. And this is including any keys to the property. I always you know, recommend at least three sets of keys that the ownership gives you for your company to effectively manage that property, any garage remotes, any fan remotes, any type of alarm system that you have all the information you have to start managing that property for their behalf. So this step is, you know, the last step I would recommend of the three. Now these can be done a little bit out of order or in combination. You could do step one, for example, meeting with the owners with step three and walking the property. So there's some things to consider where it'll save you some time and steps and some efficiencies. I know a lot of times maybe owners cannot meet with you because they're out of state investors or there's multiple investors that are involved with it. But those are some things to keep in mind before you sign a management agreement. If you've already done so, please make sure you watch my disclosure video as well as my why I do this video. I'll provide both links to those videos in the description. And if you enjoyed this video and learned something new, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications for future videos. And if you haven't already connected with our LinkedIn page or our Instagram page, please do so as well to follow for new updates with videos or shorts or even polls in the future. Happy leasing!